Welcome to the Valareso Capital Community, where we discuss the stock market and trading strategies to become a consistently profitable trader and investor. Hey traders, welcome back to Valareso Capital. My name is Francisco, and on today's video, we're going to go through the market update and we're also going to take a look at the weekly watch list. Uh, before going into the video, guys, remember that this video is for informational purposes only, it's based just on my personal opinion and it's not financial advice. So, the first thing that we're going to cover is we're going to take a quick look back at last week's video and we were talking about a possible short-term top in the market right the thesis that we created was the was the was based on the price action that we were seeing on smci which is one of the current uh, leaders in the market we were also talking about nvidia and the interesting thing is that when the week started, because remember guys that the information that I give you is based on the price action of Friday. So when we got the close on Friday, that price action suggested that we're probably going to see a pullback. And we actually saw that pullback that happened in the first two days of the week. Then we had NVIDIA earnings and of course NVIDIA reaction to earnings lift the market to new all-time highs. So we're going to start with the SPX in this video and then we're gonna go through some really interesting action that we're seeing actually in the Nasdaq and then we're gonna take a look at some of the setups that I'm trading and we're gonna talk about what is the most important what is the highest probability roadmap for next week so if you at any point of this video guys you find any value remember to subscribe to the channel and also in the in the notes of the channel I do have a link uh, to my Twitter account if you don't follow me on my Twitter or X account make sure to do so it's at Valareso Capital and there's also a link to the Discord community uh, that I'm part of it's called the Prime Community and it's actually a really nice uh, place if you're looking to learn about the strategies we have a, a lot of people there and everyone is is giving their best efforts teaching and, and sharing different views in the market so make sure to take a look at those subscriptions so let me just make myself a little bit smaller here and the first chart that I want to take a look at that I that I mentioned is the SPX and the interesting thing about the SPX and let me just hide the alert that I have right here so the interesting thing about the SPX is that we are at a very important level and that's going to be the the 5100 level every time that you get a move into these into these into these very important numbers right it's going to be like 5000 5050 uh, 5100 every time that you get those 50 point increments it's really important to pay attention because we tend to have a lot of positioning based on options so right now uh, we are as mentioned before we are right here at this 5100 level and what is interesting here is that we are starting to see the first signals of a possible pause in the market now we have to understand that the trend continues to be to the upside right we can see right here that we just continue to ride this 21 exponential moving average and every dip that we get into this 21 exponential moving average has been aggressively bought right we can we can clearly see this huge right we get the pullback and then in two days we are back to new all-time highs right it happened here we barely went to to test these new all-time highs with which were some around that 5050 level that we were talking about and now we came back into this 21 exponential moving average and boom we are all the way back to all-time highs now the question is are we losing a little bit of momentum and the answer is going to be a little bit tricky because of course there's nothing bearish about new all-time highs right there's absolutely nothing bearish and we don't have a sell signal confirmation just yet on the SPX and why do I mean by a sell signal confirmation if you have been looking the channel for a while guys you know that the orange anchor BWAP that I have on my charts is actually from the previous day anchor BWAP from the previous day trading from the previous trading day so it's basically a two-day anchor BWAP I have found that before any pullback or before or before any turn in the market from a level of support or resistance we tend to close below the previous day anchor BWAP or that two-day anchor BWAP so you can see right here that the SPY is actually holding that previous day anchor BWAP so we don't have a sell signal confirmation just yet but we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq and we're going to see something very interesting so let me just 
let me just jump into that chart really quickly. It's going to be the QQQ. And what is interesting here is that here in the NASDAQ, you can see that we actually make the attempt to make a new all-time high. We actually made it intraday, but we happen to close below that previous day anchor BWAP. We happen to close below that two-day anchor BWAP. And what is happening here is that we actually have a bear trap, a bull trap. In, and what, what, what exactly the, does that mean? It means that a lot of people bought the breakout and now, based on the price action that we had on Friday, they are trapped with their cost basis above the new all-time high. And what happened is that price came all the way back and actually closed below the previous day anchor BWAP. So that is actually a confirmation of a sell signal at a level. Now, we do have to understand that this continues to be on an uptrend. And it's pretty easy to understand that this is in, a, in an uptrend, right? We continue to be above this previous, above this 21 exponential moving average, and we also continue to hold this steady daily moving average. If you want to learn more about the moving averages that I use, guys, I do have some links in the in 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 the description as well for the eight exponential, the 21 exponential, and the, and the Terry daily moving average, so that you can understand kind of what is the reasoning behind behind me using those moving averages. So. Really interesting action here. The, this is for now a sell signal. We have to understand that. So you can actually play this. You can actually try a short at the queues, perhaps using a stop somewhere around this high here because we actually do have a confirmation. This is a valid trade. This is a, a valid operation. And usually from a failed breakout, we tend to see really strong moves to the downside. But of course, we need more. Con We're going to see what happens on Monday. It's a really easy setup to manage risk, right? You can just take a short here, set your stop right here. And if we happen to see a, a really deep pullback, then your first target, of course, is going to be the 21 exponential moving average. And then, of course, the second target is going to be a close of the giant gap that we had after NVIDIA earnings. So, Pretty interesting action on the queues. We actually do have a setup right here. So let me see what else I can show you because there are a lot of things that are happening in the market. Market is looking pretty bullish, but a lot of the sectors, especially the technology sector, is actually looking a little bit toppy. And the reason that I'm saying that it's looking a little bit toppy, and this is not to call for a top in the market, is not to, 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 to try to anticipate what is going to be the ultimate top in the market. I do think that the market is just going to eventually continue to the upside. But based on the price action that we're seeing right now, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a little bit of a, of, of a pause. Right? You can see right this base has been really, really wide. And when we tend to have really wide bases that are not respecting moving averages like this, we tend to see a little bit of distribution and we tend to see a little bit of chop. So that is actually what is happening right here in the XLK. You can see right here that we were unable to test the new all time highs. So this is starting to look a little bit as a head and shoulder stop topping pattern, right? You can actually see right here that we actually make a lower low. We could think that this is a lower high based on this action, but of course a higher high from this price. So that is going to be a little bit subjective, but I do think that we have to be aware. And of course, right here on my indicator, you can see that we are below that moving average. When we have a really healthy move to the upside, my, 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 <clears throat> my indicator, the backup trend indicator, you can see that this line right here tends to be above the moving average. And then we tend to to continue to get that price action above the moving average. But as soon as that we break that moving average and we stay below the moving average, that is usually the first signal that we're going to continue to see a little bit more chop or perhaps a continuation to the downside. So XLK looking a little bit toppy. I do think that is a really important sector. But of course, if we jump into the semiconductors, semiconductors are looking awesome, right? But I do think that it's really important for the semiconductors to respect that new all-time high level, which is going to be 207.12. If we happen to drop below this, then that's going to be a really big bull trap. And then most likely, as Brian Shannon says, from failed moves, we tend to have really fast moves. So this is actually a pretty easy setup to analyze. Above the line, good, above the line, bullish, below the line, then perhaps we're going to see a little bit of a trap and then a continuation to the downside. And we actually can see that this actually reached the target, right? This is the, two, the 1618 Fibonacci extension measured from the last swing. 
and we actually made the move to the target but we are pausing and we also have an active sell signal you can see that my candle is red and the reason the candle is red be is because we close below the two-day anchor bwap so i think it's going to be really important to see this and then of course if we just go back to nvidia nvidia is looking pretty pretty bullish we actually exceeded the 1618 target right it, it was measured from this high right here to this low right here and we actually exceeded that target but of course we don't have a sell signal in nvidia just yet right the confirmation is going to be a close below the two-day anchor bwap we don't have that yet so we have to assume that nvidia still has a chance of continue of a continuation to the upside but now let me show you guys so basically what i'm saying here and what is going to be the roadmap for next week is that the market is bullish right and but we do have to understand that the spx is at a is at a resistant level and we actually do have a sell signal in the qqq after reaching a resistance level so we do have to be aware of the scenario that we have going into next week so don't be surprised if we actually see a pullback now is that pullback gonna be met with support or is this something else we our job is not to anticipate that but our job is probably but, but our job is actually to be aware of the probabilities that we're going to be facing next week so now let me show you a couple of setups that i'm going to be watching for next week and of course the first setup that i'm going to be watching is going to be the queues i do actually have a position here i actually shorted the tqqq and the reason that i decided shorting the tqqq instead of getting long the sqqq is just because the sqqq is a sub 10 dollar uh, stock i think it's sub 10 right now let's take a look yeah it's an 11 dollar stock so usually you pay a little bit more commissions if you decide to trade the sqqq but it's actually pretty interesting right this candle right here and you can see it right here this candle is core is called some traders call this a bar candle and what is a bar candle a bar candle is a, a is a break and reclaim candle and a break and reclaim candle is basically you break below this candle you trap the people who try to short this and now those people are trapped so this is a this is a break and reclaim and usually what happens is you tend to see a really impulsive move to the upside so be aware of that candle this is going to be the first setup that i'm going to be watching which is basically just short the qqq and as i mentioned before using a stop at the high and then perhaps just using that uh, using this stop as a high and then using this anchor view kind of a of a of a level to manage the position then i'm going to be watching as the uh, at the exit okay we already talked about that setup and then one of my favorite setups one that i executed on friday also is going to be tesla what i love about tesla here is that you can see that tesla during this entire move tesla never went above that 30 daily moving average you can see right here that we do we did had kind of these of these kind of these head and shoulders bottoming pattern and we did have a really strong move to the upside where we got rejected at that 30 daily moving average and now that we got rejected at the 30 daily moving average you can see right here that the 21 exponential is acting as resistance so we didn't have a confirmation of a sell signal but of course you can see right here that we actually had one on friday we got the close below that two-day anchor bwap and right now if you anchor a bwap from this swing here you can see that this is the first close below that anchor bwap which is also a really nice sell signal so i'm looking forward for tesla we do have a squeeze momentum is negative so i'm actually thinking that there's a really nice chance of tesla coming and testing this low somewhere around 180 so this what this setup is looking pretty pretty nice it's going to be my favorite setup going into next week and then google google is also looking interesting here the interesting thing about google is that we actually had this move to the downside we held a little bit a little bit loose but we actually held that 50 daily moving average we had a really nice bounce right into that 30 daily moving average you can see right here that the 30 daily moving average is here we got rejected and we also got a confirmation of a sell signal closing below the two-day anchor bwap that is usually my trigger so i'm basically just looking to follow a trend right google is below the moving averages so my trade is pretty easy i'm looking to short a move back into those moving averages because i'm just following the trend so we got the confirmation which is good and now you can see right here that we 
are still trading above this anchor viewer from this swing low so perhaps we're gonna see a little bit of chop but as soon as we happen to close below that that anchor VWAP, then perhaps we see a continuation to the downside so those are gonna be the setups guys and the thesis is pretty simple so that we don't we, we keep this video short and sweet the thesis is pretty simple the indexes are bullish and we might get a pullback into support but we do have to understand that the probability of a continuation higher after last week's move it's a low probability continuation based on the levels that we see on the qqq and based on the levels that we see on the spx so it is a really easy thesis and then the, the, the setups that i'm looking are going to be google tesla the qqq and also the xlk and let me show you apple I almost forgot about this one. This one is looking great also to the short side, a little bit extended, but you can see that we also got the confirmation closing below the two-day anchor VWAP, rejected at the 13 exponential. And I, I don't see a reason why Apple is gonna, is, gonna, is gonna lose this support at 180. It wouldn't surprise me at all. But of course, we're gonna see next week if those ideas were actually right. So once again, thank you so much guys for watching the video. I will see you in future videos. Take care and bye-bye.